you can code on your tablet. So I'm using code spaces on my iPad and I have, you can't really see it, but I have my dev environment, not dev environment because this is on the cloud now, but I have it all set up and you know, I can make some changes. I can run it locally, remotely. I can run it remotely on my iPad. You can also do this on your mobile device because literally you can do it anywhere but this is just so this is unbelievable hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is gift eguinu and in this channel i talk about tech career and just lifestyle related topics in today's video we are going to be exploring github code spaces this is because i recently got early invite access to it because it's still in beta in this video we're going to be exploring what you can do with a github code space environment now what is code spaces github code spaces is an online development environment hosted by github and powered by visual studio code that allows you to develop entirely in the cloud think of it as having vs code in your browser this is quite interesting to see as we can see here it's still in beta so you can only request early access to try it out but think of having your development development environment entirely on the browser. You still get to use all the tools you love so you can spin up your local um, host, your local dev environment and have access to it in the browser. You can still push to GitHub. You know how the Git workflow on VS Code works. You still have that in GitHub code spaces. You can use extensions, all the extensions that you love using, you know, on VS Code, you still have access to that with code spaces. And I think the icing on the cake for or GitHub code spaces is that you can use it from anywhere and at any time, meaning that you can develop from your laptop, from your remote computer, that you, you know, you did not have the setup, the environment set up earlier. You can develop from that computer, you can develop from your iPad, you can develop from your phone, and all the de dependencies are included in every environment you spin up. So you basically have access to that environment. I can already think of where this could be applied or how this can be helpful for different situations. For instance, you're a new member of a team and you just onboarded into the team. Instead of going over, you know, the entire process of setting up a environment from scratch, you can use this GitHub code spaces environment for onboarding new teams, or you can use it if you're an open source maintainer, you're trying to collaborate with other open source contributors. This is also very nice thing to use when you're, you know, trying to collaborate right? It opens more access to collaboration. That's how I see the code spaces environment. To demo this code spaces, I am going to be using my personal website. I already set up a GitHub code spaces for this project. I can spin that up and let's see what we get out of the box with it. So this is my repo right here. And this is the part that just amazes me. When I run here and dev, I'm trying to run this in development. GitHub has like a containerized environment. So GitHub creates a container for me. And you know, I'll just show you. It also has like local hosts whereby they give you a link. Exactly. This is where you can then open in the browser right? That's just too amazing. Like thinking about that process alone. So this is my code space environment running locally, or should I say running in the cloud? Because it's not local. I don't know. But yeah. And let's see, what can I change in this website just to show you? But before I do all of that, I just want to show you that, you know how you use VS code and you have extensions, right? You also have that here. So you can only have one extension installed, but I can probably search for more like say the view dev tools. I'm uh, sorry, the view view tour. Maybe this is what I'm looking for and I can install. So think of it as having VS code on the browser. Basically think of it as having everything you can do with VS code. I think you can do it code spaces. You can also decide to open this entire thing on VS code, right? I can show you how to do that. So in order for you to be able to do that, you have to have the GitHub code spaces extension, which I already downloaded GitHub code spaces. I already downloaded it, meaning that if I go to this icon, this remote explorer here, I can see my code spaces environment and I can decide to connect to it. So let's see, connect to code space. This is just wonderful. Yeah. 
and this is my environment here if you don't want to work directly on the browser as i'm doing right now you can also connect to your local vs code but i don't want to do that right so i will just you know close this i'll just close this leave it as it is or i can disconnect it close remote connection yeah and then go back i want to use it in the browser nice just for being pretty i want to use the team i was using on my team i use for my default vs code here yes 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 night hole i want to use this team and yeah i said we're going to make a change so let's do that in my in my website i have this page called speaking i'll show you and all of this is just data that i'm fetching inside this page and listing so i'll just add a new upcoming talk here so inside of this array here i'll just add this this is just for testing and i'll remove it probably later so i'll just call it jam 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 <laughs> i'm going to push this for again I, I am going to remove it just this is just a demo i'll have it link back to my website giftsagreno.com slash speaking now we have a change let's push usually i use the terminal you know i can create this and then i run git you know git status and all of that but fun fact you can also use the github here you know how you can use the github source control directly and just commit what you want to commit so i just committed that change and i can push so i think we already did that push i'm just going to confirm git log nice we pushed it to master oh let me see if i have code gh thing here it would be nice oh nice i have it nice okay let's do gh repo view i think because i want to open this on the web we got it we got it nice so this is basically the data that i added which i'm going to undo after this video but basically the idea is that you can work remotely on a project without having to work on it in your computer or you know locally without having to clone this you know the usual process you clone it into your computer then you have to run npm install you know do all of that jazz but now you don't have to do that because you can just directly do it on the browser this was quite interesting to do so i'm very familiar with another alternative if you already applied to get early access to code spaces but you're still waiting and you want to try out something else there's another one called github 1s i think yes and it's an open source project by con conwit i think but this became quite popular i think last month so basically it's literally the same thing right you can also work on your github project remotely and all you need to do is in the projects that you want to so for instance if this is this repo that i want to work on you need to add one x just after github so one s and then it opens a remote for you isn't that nice isn't that amazing all right yeah this is not a GitHub provided feature, right? It's not owned by GitHub. GitHub owns code spaces. Well, this is an open source version of that, you know, but basically that's the idea. If you want to still do something like this and you don't have access to code spaces, then I would say use this GitHub One S. Thank you so much. That's everything that I have to share. I really enjoyed exploring code spaces. Just imagine having this kind of technology five years ago, it was not possible, but right now things like this are possible on the web and it just makes me quite excited about where things are going. It only gets better from here. So if you enjoyed this video or if you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below what you think about GitHub code spaces. Also don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.